Hello, in today's video, I'll be discussing with you what is meant by PLO meeting and what happens during the meeting. Hi, my name is Christopher Aniche. I'm a specialist accredited children's panel solicitor, a resolutions panel solicitor in private and public law and a solicitor's advocate. What is PLO meeting? PLO meeting is in full, it's public law outline meeting. The reason for the meeting is that before now, before the past uh, 2014, parents attended meeting or proceedings are issued before the judge and then parents get to court without knowing why are we in court they don't even know the concerns of the local authority because of that when the new law was made public law outline there was an introduction and that was one of the introduction was the plo meeting the reason for the plo meeting is to give the parents notice what are the concerns that this local authority have with this parents parenting or the concerns about the family and in that plo meeting where the parents are invited there will also be a letter sent out by the local authority detailing clearly all the concerns that the local authority or a summary of the important or main concerns that the local authority have about this family. So when the parents get to the meeting, they already have information in advance, the concerns. The parents, are, the moment they receive the PLO letter, it will also contain a list of children's panel specialist solicitor, just like myself, who are in the local area for the parents to call them. So you can call one of them who will firstly advise you as to the concerns of the local authority before you attend the meeting. That solicitor will accompany you to the meeting. At the meeting, the local authority will detail all their concerns and will listen to the parents. For example, it might be the mother, it might be father, who is the caregiver, it might be both parents, who will now have to say their own version. And at the end of the day, if the parents indicates interest in working with the local authority, which in my view is always the best option, you need to work with the local authority in order to safeguard your children, then the local authority might say in that meeting they want to conduct, it might be a parenting assessment, it might be a, a psychological assessment, or it might be even a psychiatric assessment considering what were the concerns of the local authority before the meeting. Or it may include possibly there are issues of domestic violence, maybe being perpetrated by the father or mother, whichever way. The local authority might make a referral for one of them to or both of them to attend. So at the end of the day, after the whole discussion, the meeting might last about one, two, three hours. But at the end of the day, an agenda will be drawn up. And that means these are the things that have been agreed on. That local authority will do this, parents will do this. So an agreement is drawn up. Um, a letter of instruction is sent to an expert, the parenting assessment or the psychiatric assessment so at the end of the day, all of this prevents the local authority going to court. What happens thereafter is that there will be an assessment and a date where the parents will attend 
again accompanied with the solicitor. And possibly as at that time, it may be that the parents have addressed the concerns. And then if that is the case, local authority might step down from the current situation. But in all in all, a PLO meeting, it's for the local authority and the parents to see how this child or children could be safeguarded, making sure that the parents understand clearly what the concerns are and seeing how they could work together. So in in event that this matter goes to court in future, in the worst case scenario, it means that the parents are already aware about the concerns. So it wouldn't be like the previous situation where the parents would say, oh, whoosh, I didn't know what they were saying, man. I didn't know. But this time the parents would have. And the truth is, the moment the parents know, in many situations, the parents might work with the local authority, address all these concerns. And at the end of the day, who benefits from it is the children. Because even the court sees that the, the best person to care for the children remains the parents. But in exceptional situation where the parents are unable to care for these children due to one reason or the other, then proceedings will be commenced. I hope I've been able to, in this short video, to explain to you what is meant by pre-proceedings meeting and what is meant by the PLO letter. So in future, you know what it means and you know when a letter appears. But I hope it doesn't appear for you. But if it does, Colin Moore solicitors and advocate is always there to assist you or there are other solicitors who may be there to assist you. Stay safe and keep your children safe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you subscribe to our other videos. Just like and subscribe and send to other of your friends who may be interested in wanting to watch our videos and getting the knowledge in order to be able to safeguard their children. Thank you very much again. And my name is Chris Aniche. Family Love Nugget. Thank you.